everyone, Matt here, Home Farm Ideas, and today I'm going to do an aquaponic update. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about, um, you know, I've talked to you already about magnesium deficiencies, and you can see the last video here that I did on that. Um, but I wanted to address another deficiency that I'm having in my pepper plants. Um, that it's very early onset of it, but um, I want to go over it before it becomes a problem. So let's go out there and let's have a look at my Dutch bucket pepper plants. All right, so as you can see, everything's seemingly growing really well. Um, we got peppers coming in, you know, like crazy. This is actually a different pepper plant than that one. Uh, this one is actually a sweet banana pepper, and then those are um, red beauties, um, bell peppers. So everything looks pretty good, right? I mean, the leaves are nice and huge, right? They're nice and green, but <clears throat> upon closer inspection, I think we'll see something different. Um, now, on the lower leaves, I was having a deficiency of magnesium, like I said in that last video. And now I'm starting to see above that line, because it's kind of like, it's pretty cool because you can actually see where the deficiencies were in the plant. Um, and when you fix them, it goes to a good growth and then you start seeing another deficiency. Um, the leaves don't go back to green. So when I fix an iron deficiency, the leaves that already have the yellowing, they're not gonna go back to being bright green or uh, green. They're not gonna do that. They're, they're basically gonna have that iron deficiency. But with anything, you wanna catch it before it becomes a real problem. So that's what I'm trying to do today. So let's take a closer look at some leaves on this pepper plant and then on uh, the other ones if I can find it. It's harder to see in these, but it's a lot easier to see in this one. So um, let's have a closer look and I'll talk about what we're gonna do about it too. All right, so these are the very early onsets of iron deficiency. And the reason, or, or what you wanna look for basically is you wanna look at the newer growth, okay? And you wanna look at um, in between the veins of the leaves. Um, hopefully you guys can see this really good. Um, see all the little yellowing spots that are showing up? That's chlorosis. That's basically the plant starting to have a problem here, starting to die. And um, so, and it's intervenal, which means these are the veins of the leaves here, right? Those, and all the veins, right? Now the veins look okay uh, for this pepper plant, but we're having more of an issue in intervenal um, issues, okay? But that's pretty classic for iron deficiency. So let's have a look at this other pepper plant and see, um, but I just wanted to show you guys on this one. It's easier to see on this one with the eye, with your naked eye. Um, well, and then I can show you the tops too, basically. No, that's a, that's a better one right there. So see that? And this is newer growth. Okay, so we're starting to get the yellowing. Do not want that to start having a problem um, because we have peppers coming in and we don't want this to become an issue. So let's look at the other pepper plant. All right, so this one, sorry, I'm not showing you the whole plant because it's easier to see it back here in the shade the deficiency in this leaf. These are really hard to tell right now because they are looking really good. But you see it? A slight issue starting. Okay? This is when you want to address it. You want to start addressing it right now. Okay? Because if you don't, you're going to start having a problem. Okay? But right now, these leaves look really nice. But I'm, I'm sure you guys can see the chlorosis is starting. Okay? It's starting to have an issue here. There, there's a... There's another one. See, see in between the leaves there? Okay, so the pepper plants are actually starting to have the deficiency. Um, but if you just look at them with your naked eye, your undressed eye, <laughs> you'll see. I mean, they look really good, right? I mean, the leaves are nice and big and all that stuff. So with an iron deficiency, remember, you're going to have an issue with the upper, newer growth, okay? I already showed you the magnesium deficiency in the last video I did on these, but now I'm gonna address the iron. And so what we need to do is we need to add iron. Um, and the iron that you add is specific to your pH too. So you get different kinds of chelated iron. Um, and I'll show you the bag that I use for my pH, okay? So if you have a higher pH, I also have a bag that you can use um, for a higher pH. And, um, and then I have a bag that you can use for the right pH, which is right around six, in the six, between the six, seven range, okay? 
So this uh, iron that I use is, is really good, but we want to check and see how much iron we have in our system. So with my water, um, and with all of your waters as well, you want to keep your iron levels in between uh, 1.5, which is where you start seeing an issue, and I want to see if that's true, because um, that's basically what I've read, 1.5. And then, um, and then you want to keep it in between 1.5, like I said, and, and three, three parts per million. So 1.5 parts per million, one, one point or 3.0 parts per million. Okay. So let's see where our iron is. And to do that, you need an iron checker. And I got one from Hannah Instruments. So let's check it out. Now I prefer to use two vials because there's a timer on this that's a little too quick for me. So what I do is I get one uh, vial and I fill it up with uh, system water, of all well, two obviously. Then I add iron to one. I use this one, um, the one or excuse me, the iron checker powder. I add it to one of these. The other one I use to actually zero this out. So I'm not in a super hurry to get <laughs> the other one in there. So. For those of you that have this, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and let's cap one of these and add the powder to the other. So now what you got to do, and I won't make you sit through this, is you got to invert it for two minutes. Okay? I could tell right away. I mean, look at that. Uh, well, that's a horrible background for that, huh? <laughs> right away. See, there there is a definite. Um, there's definitely iron in there, but it is low. Okay. So. I'm gonna invert this for two minutes, make you guys not sit through this, and then um, I'll get back to the next part of this. All right, so the water is ready. So, um, before I do this though, now that I got that, I mean, you can see the different difference in color. So before I do this though, uh, I'm gonna clean this up just a little bit here because I wanna make sure that you guys can see everything. And then I'm gonna show you the different irons that you can use for different pHs. So, with that said, you need to know what your pH is, obviously. And I have a constant checker. It's called Growline Monitor. And um, so it constantly checks the pH and it constantly checks the um, temperature of the water and um, just other stuff. But mainly you want to check out your pH. So let's check out these bags of iron. All right, here's an iron that you use for higher pHs, um, and I think this this works with pHs that are pretty low and really high. Um, it'll work. Basically, the plant can take up this iron. Um, so if you have a higher pH, you know, like above seven or whatever, you'd probably want to use this. This is going to turn your water like red Kool-Aid, though. Um, my friends over at Bright Agritech, they go over this in, in a lot more detail. So check out the card right here and make sure you really go over the iron um, uh, the iron videos that uh, Nate over there did because it's it's a lot. It's it's hard. It was harder for me to understand because I'm just a rookie, <laughs> but um, it did help me over time. So it's this is not something you want to rush. 
So this one would be for higher pHs, okay? And then this is the one I use now. This is DTPA. It's chelated iron. This is 11%. It does not turn the water all crazy colors, okay? This, you can barely notice it. It turns it a little bit, like almost like it looks like pea water, but it's, it's very, very gradual. Uh, you barely notice it. But uh, this stuff works great for pHs that are about 6.7 um, or anywhere between, like I said, 5 and, and um, 7, okay? That's the sweet spot. It does work at, I think, um, excuse me, I meant 6 and 7. It does work at pHs that are a little lower, I think, but this one's the, the good one to use when you have the right pH. So high pH, ED, EDDHA, right pH, uh, DTPA. So those are the differences. So you need to know your pH when you're doing this stuff because if you don't know your pH, then the iron could already be in the water, provided you don't have an iron checker to check. The iron could already be in your water and you're showing a deficiency and you're showing a deficiency because your plants cannot take up the iron that's in the system because the pH is too high. So, and, or too low. So you need to know your pH. And this is how I check my pH, like I said, the grow line monitor, okay? This thing works wonderful, and I could see timelines and, you know, how it did over the day and all kinds of stuff, so it's, it's really great, so. Anyway, I'll put that in the description below you as well, you guys. All right, so, let's go over this just real quick. Um, I like to pop it open just a little. And then I hold it. Not closed, just turn it on. Okay, so add and press C1. So that's basically just asking us to clear it um, from the last reading, okay? So with that, oh, you know what? You gotta wash this, or wash it, wipe it down real quick too. Cause you don't want anything uh, impeding the light beam that's in there. So you make sure your glass is clear, okay? As clear as possible. Set that in there close it and then just press it once don't hold it down it's zeroing it out now it's saying add uh, the C2 so that's our other vial here okay and I already cleaned this one really good I'm gonna clean the bottom put that in close it all the way till it snaps shut and then hold it down okay now it's gonna count down three minutes and it's going to give us the actual iron reading let's get a nice little presentation though huh yeah <laughs> right there you guys right there is that good uh oh it's it's off centered there we go little more this way perfection all right let's see what we got here wow 0.35 no wonder why we were starting to see some problems and if I don't do something about this right now, we were gonna start seeing problems within the next day or two, okay? So, I'm gonna add my iron. Bam. And I'm gonna fix this problem before it comes becomes a real problem. I'm hoping I caught it on time because you have to have time for this stuff to go through the system of the plant. So I might still have an issue going on. Um, I should have checked. And, you know, that's, that's how it goes. So anyway, let's add that iron and I'm gonna add some, a uh, little bit more magnesium and I'm also gonna add a little bit of uh, seaweed uh, kelp, basically powder. It adds potassium, so a natural way and it doesn't, it doesn't make your pH go up. I'm gonna add for my system, okay? This is something you're gonna have to work out the math on for yourself. I need you guys to go over and check out Nate's video and he definitely helps uh, figure that process out. You need to figure out how much you need per system. So you're never gonna hear someone give you uh, how much to put in unless they don't know what they're talking about. You gotta know your system water, how much is there and all that. So I'm gonna add it right here to this rain gutter that goes straight to the sump. So one, and I don't mind that it, it runs because that's fine. It's just introducing a little bit here and there. So two, this is per my system. Okay, guys? All right, so there's three. I'm also gonna add some uh, 
kelp meal powder. I'm gonna add two, because that's what I normally add with my iron. This stuff will turn your water <laughs> colored. Wow. And two. Okay. Then I'm gonna add one Epsom salt. I think they can deal with just a little bit more, so that's why I'm adding this. Just one. All right. So that's it, you guys. I mean, I hope this video helped you. Um, if not, definitely check out Nate's video on iron. Um, and uh, I mean, you guys all know if you're following any kind of aquaponic systems, uh, Rob's Bob. Um, he's got some cool videos too, man. Rob's Rob's a good dude, man. I, I'm glad that he's uh, he's out there doing these videos, and and uh, he's got some stuff in his stores, you know that helps his family out so if you guys ever feel like buying something for your system especially if you're over in Australia um, you know go for it you know buy from his store and all that stuff so anyway you guys and he did not promote this video <laughs> so anyway God bless you guys and uh, like always peace and uh, hopefully you learned something remember ideal iron levels for a system and you have to be able to check it so you need to get that iron checker I'll put it in the description below as well um, is in between 1.5 and 3.0. So um, that should be it for this, you guys. Um, God bless you, and like always, peace, and I'll talk to you guys later.